A library database is a collective chart that enlists book details along with their borrower's details and corresponding dates in terms of borrowing. Keeping track of so many things in one place isn't so difficult as well. Let's try together. Hello there, this is Fari Hatulvim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forums, templates, and VBA related answers. Here we will create a library dataset for three records. For the records, we will have their book ID, book title, author, borrowing date, due date, member ID, name, and phone number. We will do this using Excel 365. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. To create a library database with so many informations, we need to enable form first. For that, you need to have this icon enabled in your quick access tool. If not, let me show you how you can add this. Here you can see a drop down which shows customize quick access toolbar. Click on it and select more commands. Now from the Excel options, go to the quick access toolbar and here from the drop down, select all commands. Now let's look for if to select form. There you are. Select add. Okay. Now you can see the form icon here. In the fourth row, let's add some column headers. Book ID, book title, author, Borrowing date, due date, member ID, name of the member, phone number of the member. Here, let's format our column headers. From the Home tab, under the font group, let's make them bold and font size one size larger and from the alignment group middle and center aligned there we are now we will add our first record here we can just manually type it or copy it from a source data set we have a draft record from there we will copy it using Control c and in this worksheet we will paste it in B5 using Control V. There we are. Now let's add a table for the corresponding data set. Select B4 to I5 and go to Insert tab from the Tables group. Select Table. Or you can just use Control T to get a table. You can see that our range is already selected and make sure to check this box so that our first row formatted as the column headers. It looks better, right? Now to add more entries, we will select this entire table range, which is B4 to I5 and go to form. Here we can see that our sheet name is the new window name and our first record is already added here and you can see the record is one out of one. So if we want to add new record, click on new. You can either manually type all these cell values individually or copy from another source sheet. Let's copy and paste it using Ctrl C and Ctrl V. So 
select new and you can see the previous data is already added to the table. Let's click on close. Let's extend our table. Select it and from table design, go to resize table and select P4 to I7. Okay. Here we can modify it and format this as we choose. From the home tab and font group, let's give it all borders and for our column header, Let's select another fill color, this one. There you go. Now, we want to modify one of the cells. Say, the member ID, this one. To modify it, let's go to form again. And here, our record is 2 of 3, so let's go to 2, and here, let's change the member ID, 8 perhaps, okay, close, and it's instantly updated. You can also double click on any of the cells, say this one, select the part of the data that you want to change, and edit it manually. To remove a record, go to form again, and here, let's try to remove our third record. Go to 3 of 3, and here, select delete. From the warning box, we can see that displayed record will be permanently deleted. Click on OK. You see that the record is removed. Let's get it back using Ctrl Z. Right click on the 7th row and from the context menu select delete to delete the record. But this method will not work properly if you have other important data in the same row beside this table. Let's undo the previous action. Now let's try to restrict particular data entries. Select F4 to F7. Go to Data tab and from the Data Tools group, select Data Validation. Now we can use Data Validation for a lot of works. From the Allow drop-down menu, you can see that Data Validation is useful for whole number, list, date, time, etc, etc. For now, we will work along with date since our selection is date. So, data is between and starting date is, say, 1990 and our end date is 8-25-2023, which means the data inside this range cannot exceed 25th of August. Okay. Now, let's try this one and make it 26. You can see that the warning shows that 26th of August cannot be entered since we have already restricted it. See how easily we created a library database. You can practice this with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to create or modify the template in the comment section with suggestions and feedback. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.